Robin Thede is a Hollywood talent who can do it all. She was the head writer for Comedy Central's The Nightly Show with <laughs> Larry Wilmore. She also created, wrote, and starred in the popular HBO comedy series, A Black Lady Sketch Show. Now, just in time for the holidays, Robin is starring alongside Eddie Murphy in the number one movie on Prime Video, Hi. Candy Cane Lane, where yes. she plays a woman under the spell of an evil elf who's trapped inside a Christmas village. Take a look. But well, why me? Why any of us? Because we took the bait. Anyone can make one mistake, and then you're cursed, and no one can help you. She's evil but needy, like a cat you bought and raised but hates your guts. Well, she sent me looking for gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I mean, gold was easy, obviously. I have a ton of that in my house. But what even is that other stuff? I went to every Sephora I could find. I found plenty of Fenty, but no myrrh. No myrrh! <laughs> you are... <laughs> How can you no be, that, how can no you be that funny in that animated version? I, you amazing. know what's so great? What? The director, Reggie Hudlin, was reunited with Eddie Murphy since they did Boomerang oh, years Boomerang. ago. Can that you imagine? Classic. classic. So they came back together. And so Mr. Eddie Murphy, the comedy legend, yeah. um, and Reggie Hudlin, who's a director I've loved forever, they just let us improvise so much. And Tracy Ellis Ross yes. is starring opposite we of Eddie, her. and she's amazing. So it was just honestly like... A warm bath the whole mm -hmm. time. We got to really do so many fun things. And the great thing was, Chris Red, Nick Offerman, and I play the uh, people who are trapped as the figurines. And so Reggie would want us on set for most of the scenes in wow. case they wanted to animate us in. We only had a few lines in the original script, but when he talked to us, he said, no, no, no. I want you guys to come in and, like, just improvise with them and lift them up in the scenes and, and, and really... So we kind of worked it scene by scene, and it was just so fun because they would have us come in our, our human selves, yeah. right, and, and improvise with them or rehearse lines. Then we would go to a sound booth, and they would only hear us in their ears. Ah. So, but it was nice because Eddie and Tracy really wanted us to, to have that, more. yeah, to play in yeah. person first so that it wasn't so separate. But cool. it's also such an important lesson about showing up. Mm -hmm. That's right? right. Because you could have been like, well, no, if it's not my line, I'm not going to be there. But because you showed yeah. up. Yeah. You're you're a, a mm -hmm. miniature little main part of this. I know. <laughs> no, we're in the whole movie. Hey, it's really sure. amazing. What's it like working with Eddie Murphy? By the way, he's a legend. We've pointed that out, but that's a wow. You know what? The way he wanted to work is so indicative of his personality. He's so giving. Is he? I think when you're that good, you don't have anything to prove. Yeah. Yeah. So he would be effortlessly funny in everything that he did. But when we, when the comedians got on yeah. set and really started yeah. going, you know, especially me and Chris Red, we were, we were relentless. <laughs> and he would just go with us and light up. And it was just, I mean, can you imagine as a comedian to no. make Eddie Murphy laugh? Yes. Totally. We would put little tallies in our sound booth for how many <laughs> times we made him laugh. Even if we just had one a day, we were like, we won. We made it. We made it. <laughs> we have to talk about yeah. you as a young person mm -hmm. making people laugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you, was it something you yeah. longed to do? I um, it was. I think, you know, I grew up really poor, and I yeah. think for bullies and stuff like that, yeah. humor was my way of Your shield. getting them away. Yeah, because yeah. I was tiny. You know, I was mm -hmm. like like under five feet until I went to college, and I'm now mu not much taller. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, so I think I used humor as kind of a defense mechanism, and, and it kept me out of fights. Yeah. Did you, we, we read that you didn't speak until you were five. Wait, I'm, Almost I'm kind five. of mad at your sister yeah. for this. I know. What it's, did she do? It's amazing. I know. I know. And she has no remorse about this, by the way. <laughs> So my sister, who's 15 months older than me, uh, and who has been a teacher and principal and educator she's her whole amazing. life, yeah. she's amazing, but she was that even early. She taught me how to speak because we shared a room, Yeah. but we were never separated until I was four and a half. And so she would tell me at night, I'm teaching you these words, and she taught me how to read. I could read and everything. Oh, my oh, gosh. Wow. And she said, but don't talk to anyone because this is our secret language, and they won't understand you, and they'll think you're crazy, and they'll separate <laughs> us. Like, she was so imaginative. Now, mind you, she's only 15 months older than me, so right. this started when she was, like, two. So she already knew how to talk and read at two. She was wow. crazy advanced. Genius level. But she told you not so to So she talk. told me not to talk. So she, I had the flu, and so I stayed home one day, and it was the first time we were not together in our whole lives. Yeah. And so I needed a glass of water. So I was in my high chair, and my mom was washing dishes, and she had her back to me. I didn't have a first word. I had a first sentence. I said, I need a glass of water, Mom. Or Mom, can I have a glass of water? But she, your parents were worried about you, right? Oh, yeah. They took me to the doctor. The doctor said she can talk. <laughs> She's just not doing it. Oh. And so they had taken me to so many doctors, and there was no medical diagnosis. They were like, she'll talk eventually. And when I did, my mom dropped the plate she was washing. And she was like, oh, my God. So, wait, what happened with your sister? Did she get in huge trouble? I don't remember. 
remember. I have to ask. Yeah. But when I ask her about it to this day, she acts she, like it's no big deal. She remembers it and is proud of it. She's gaslighting you. <laughs> she is very much She's gaslighting me. You. Thank you. Oh you know what? God. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's FaceTime her <laughs> and talk to my therapist. Robin, let's FaceTime her in commercial break. Yes. Because <laughs> Robin is sticking around to yeah. give us her take on yeah. some hot topics right after this. Yay. Yeah. She She's proud of it. But I what can't she, believe she, we are back with Candy Cane Lane star Robin Thede, who stuck around to lay down the law on some trending topics yes. in our series. All rise for Judge Robin. All right, Robin, we're going to give you a time. Come on, Grammy. Yes, and then you're going to. Y'all are good. We're taking care of you. All right. I love it. You're I live hit, here now. You're going to hit the we're gavel okay. when you come to the. Here's the first one. Okay. Okay. Public makeouts. I'm not sure if you watched the episode where Hoda recently revealed yep. she's a fan of making yeah. out in furniture stores. What do yeah. you think about them? Okay. Sorry, Hoda, but this is getting overruled. Um, <laughs> Why is that? Don't love it. If I'm shopping for a futon, I don't need to see your tongue down someone's throat. <laughs> All right? Um, a little peck is fine, but like full, like, meh, I'm like, yeah, yeah. This I'm the get a room person, but, you know? Oh, you are. But yeah. you, don't you love when you might get caught? but you're no. not sure. Everybody loves that. What are you talking about? No, I, I, haven't, I haven't had a man touch me in decades. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even remember. All right, okay, here's the next one. Here's the next one. Adult Christmas yes. list. When adult makes yeah. a list for holiday gifts, are you for or against? Okay, so I'm split on this one. If it's someone that you've been gifted to before or that you get a gift for, all for it. If it is someone that just sends you a random email list or an Elfster list, <laughs> Absolutely not overruled. Okay. I just think there has to be like a real bestie connection. Yeah. And not a list, just like one or two things. Well, yeah. like you're like, I'm getting you this. What do you want? Something yeah, like that. Yeah, sure. Okay. But I like to give people what they want. I don't like to shop for what I think they should have. Totally. Okay. I'm not one of those people. You're, I, oh, you're a shop for what you want them to have person? No. She okay. totally is. Ah! You are. You're like, I've got yeah. this self-help book for you. And you're like, wow, thanks. I, I think you need to read these quotes card. every night, and I hope you enjoy. But I like it. Drag her! I, like it. I know you are. She is. I know she is. Okay. okay. Your next one. Okay. Renaissance hat bands. Oh, yes. Now, this is big. Let's look at I know all about this. Okay. I, okay. Yeah. AMC has asked viewers. Yeah to remove their hats yep. before Beyonce's Renaissance movie plays. Now, we know you love Beyonce. Obsessed. Like we all do. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this hat man? Okay, this is sustained because... <laughs> no one told me to do that, by the way. I'm just doing I that. Like as, I need I need a bit. Um, okay, so I went to see Renaissance three times in a row in one weekend. Wait, Wait the movie or the... The, the, no, movie. the concert. Oh, the actual Were concert? Were you exhausted? Yes, I was. Where'd I you still go? Am. You In L.A., I saw oh. it every night Okay. for three nights. And I said, if she can do this, I can do this. Yeah, that's right. Um, I was wrong. <laughs> I had to be hospitalized. No. <laughs> it's true. It, it's, it's exhausting. exhausting. <laughs> and no one knows unless you've gone. Because you have to do all the dance moves. And just watching her is and making you out of getting in and out. Is getting in and out is crazy. Yeah. Okay. So, at the concert, I say, if you paid $5,000 for a nosebleed seat, wear 10 hats. But in the movie theater... <laughs> Where you paid 20 bucks to see it, I think take the head take off. Take the hat off. Also, word of caution, the movie is three hours long. You don't want to be in a hat that whole no, time. It hurts your yeah. head. It yeah. hurts your head. Here's our last topic and a very important one. Okay. Oh. okay. Our plaza performance of a carefree yes. Christmas. Yes. I don't know if you saw it. I absolutely did. Okay, we'd like to hear your verdict. <laughs> yeah. There it is, and I will tell you I'm a harsh critic. Okay? So say it was fantastic. Was it? She did it. You guys. The performance alone, 10, 10, 10s across the board. Your enthusiasm, your joy. Also, you're with Miss Cheryl, who I'm Isn't such a big Cheryl fan of. You know Cheryl, too. Everybody yes, loves I'm obsessed her. with her. I literally conned her into giving me her phone number. Oh, <laughs> did you did? While, while she was here? I ran into her in the lobby, and I was like, can we be friends? She was like, here, here's my number. Oh, that's so funny. So, I, yeah. I conned her into it, too, because yeah. we want to have more lessons. We want more lessons. She's really great. She All made right. you guys sound amazing. Oh, thank she, and you. And I heard <laughs> you're, like, in the top 10 on iTunes. What are you talking about? I don't know. We no, no, we, we were. Oh, did I? Was I not supposed to say? It's okay. Okay. No, we well, want to know. Thank you. I think Thank you, Robin. Friend. Will you be our friend? Yes, please. We okay, love good. you. Oh, okay, and we want to talk to your sister. Yeah. I know. <laughs> we're mad She's at her. Yeah. Don't okay. be mad no, at her. We She's love her. Great. She's a principal. Yeah. Okay, you can catch up. Rob, you can catch Robin's <laughs> holiday movie. Everybody's watching it. Candy Cane Lane. It's streaming now on Prime Video.